tell you who was watching the Golden Globes very closely last night as the show returned to network television, and that is Eli Glasner. Good morning. Hey, we're into awards season. We're underway. It's here. It's, it's here. here. The time is nice. So oh, exciting. my goodness. Looking forward to these conversations. I'm looking forward to getting your thoughts overall on, on how it went, the return of the Golden Globes. But we need to start with the big winners, first of all. Who are some of the, uh, the, uh, the big hardware collectors, I guess, if I can put it that way, Eli, on the night? A wonderful evening, Heather, for a beautiful film about a friendship that has gone foul. I'm speaking of the Banshees of Inner Sheeran, Taken Home, Best Actor in a Comedy Screenplay, and the Best Comedy uh, Award Overall. Uh, what a night for this film, directed by Martin McDonough, bringing Brendan Gleeson, Colin Farrell back together, some, I think, 15 years after shooting in Bruges. And uh, yes, great yes, night, Paul Farrell. There he is. I think a career highlight for him, his performance as this friend who loses another friend. And he had a lot of fun accepting the award for best actor in a comedy or a musical, beginning with uh, kind of a sharing some acclaim with Anna de Amras, talking about her performance in Blonde. She was presenting. Great night for Banshees of Inner Sheer, and also a great night for Steven Spielberg and the story that he waited a lifetime to tell. This is the Fablemans. This is essentially the story of both how Steven Spielberg fell in love with film, but also a very interesting and perhaps surprising to people who don't know the details of what happened with his father and mother and someone else that came between them. And it's amazing that you think of just kind of the boldness that Spielberg has as a filmmaker, but he talked about on stage how you know, he's been hiding from this story for years. He's been putting little segments of this story in his other movies, but he never really told this entire story until now. And I think there's so much love for Spielberg uh, in that in that room uh, and across the industry. Not so surprised to see it winning a couple big awards uh, last night. Now let's move on to television. There he is, but let's move on and talk about Abbott Elementary because in the okay, world so of the TV, I mean, this is a, a smash hit from a network. We don't see that that often, but it's a great Great new comedy about this school with a diverse range of teachers just trying to solve their kids' problems. And there she is on the screen on your left there, Quinta Brunson. She is not only the star of the show, but she is the woman who created the show. She is the showrunner. And so it was an amazing thing to see her and the cast, her and Tyler James Williams winning uh, last night uh, for comedy for uh, actors in a comedy and uh, on the uh, on the stage talking about how she had a vision and the industry embraced that vision and it is it's a, it's a fun show so very happy for that one Talk about the show itself. We're going to have you back through the morning and we'll talk about standout moments. There's a lot more to discuss as far as the Golden Globes. But I mentioned the show overall, Eli. It was uh, off the big screen, lots of controversy, lots of scandal. Has the Golden Globes overall been able to rehabilitate its image here? I mean, I, yeah, I think it felt like, uh, in a way, they just kind of paved over what happened last year. And I think uh, Jared Carmichael, very astutely, he came out. He was the host of the show. He's a comedian. Uh, and he said, look, the reason I'm here is because I'm black and kind of very much kind of sat down on the stage, took on the organization and their you know, failings head on in a, a funny, but I think a different kind of vibe, a more low key vibe. I think as the show went on, his more kind of laid back approach, it felt like he was almost fighting the room at times. There's a lot of hubbub when he was trying to do intros, but I thought his opening monologue was kind of on point and picture perfect in, stir in terms of really taking head on everything that has been said about the Globes. This is, Heather, an organization that has tried to change. It has invited in uh, black voting members. Years ago, there were absolutely none, zero. They have new guidelines for ethics and whatnot. So they're certainly trying to turn the page. It'll be interesting to see if uh, the ratings and the viewers responded. Much more to discuss. Come on back later in the morning. We'll carry on this conversation, Elay. Okay, thank you very much.